talk about the Strong Men's Christian Conference and the Jezebel spirit that's coming to get you. Oh my God. If you don't know what that is, it is a, I believe, annual men's conference where a bunch of men come together, Christian men specifically, and some of their favorite preachers and pastors come up on the stage and give them words of encouragement or wisdom. Now here's where we get a little spicy. Now they had lots of opening acts at said conference, which was included but not limited to a sword swallowing pole climber and monster trucks. Like, like actual monster trucks. Surprisingly enough, the reason that this is going viral currently is not even the monster trucks or sword swallowing pole climber. It's the fact that two preachers got in a little tussle over the pole climber. Mark Driscoll came on stage to speak right after the opening events and immediately started stating his discomfort in said opening events. He stated that the spirit of Jezebel had already come in the room and that's actually what opened up the event in reference to the pole climber man. We'll get to the Jezebel spirit in a second. Give me a sec. I somewhat agree with him. I'm not against there being opening acts. I'm all for using different talents and treasures that we have on this earth to help bring people in to then preach the gospel to them. I think that's a beautiful thing. I use that with my makeup and my weird art style and things like that. I can reach other people like me in the world. I don't think that's an issue. My issue more so comes in with what they used. Now monster trucks, 10 out of 10, 10 points. I wish I was there just to see the monster trucks, gonna be honest. Mark made the parallel of a woman being on the pole in reference to strippers, right? And that's the part that I agree with the most, I think. As chronically online and offended as I may seem from my appearance, I want you to truly hear my heart when I say this and understand that this is not coming out of a place of like a victim mentality, you know, I'm just a woman in this hard patriarchal world. Like that's not like, I'm not on some crap like that. I really want you to hear my heart when I say this. If a woman were to do or have a remotely similar act to the one that that man had, immediately, Jezebel spirit. Immediately, sexualizing and lust, and she's provoking men to lust. So why was it when a man did it, we were just like, hee hee. And why are we acting like that 100% didn't cause at least one man in that room to think something a little questionable? We want to talk day in and day out about how homosexuality is on the rise and da da da. Y'all got a man, a half-naked man, to climb up a pole, deep throat a sword, and then slide down the pole. And you finna sit here and tell me not one of those men was thinking something a little gay? Because I know for a fact none of y'all finna tell me that if it was a woman they weren't thinking something very straight. Now I want to make it clear that I have absolutely zero issue with that man and that I don't think his act was meant to be sexual in nature. I also want to make it clear that pole dancing actually wasn't initially a sexual thing. It was a dance form and then became sexual because of strippers. And I want to admire the strength that it takes for him to do that. I can't even do a pull up. So the fact that he could sit here climbing sideways, 10 out of 10 props to you, bro. But there's so many aspects of this that are just questionable as a pastor why would you put other people the people that you're supposed to be shepherding in that position example why did he have to have a shirt off how did this benefit the show how did this make the show better i can promise you some man in that crowd struggles with homosexual inclinations and saw some ripped white guy deep throat a sword on a pole like this was not helping anyone Going back to the performer again, he has a talent that takes talent. I am not in denial about that. I don't think that a men's conference was the place to do it. Now he got hired. He got paid. That's not on him. It's on the people who hired him. He just got paid. Homie's doing his job. But the people who hired him are the ones who needed to make smarter decisions. Because come on. Especially since they are pastors. Like pastors. All right, with all that, let's get to this Jezebel spirit, y'all. I'm a charismatic. Like, I can speak in tongues. Like, like I believe if you sick, come here and let me put my hands on you. Like, I, I believe in the gifts of the spirit 110%. I believe that there are spirits and principalities of this world that we need to be on the lookout for. I don't believe that this fight is against flesh and blood. I believe it is against said spirits and principalities. But in however, way too many charismatics see someone remotely struggle with lust or do anything that has to do with something remotely sexual and they're like, the Jezebel. Or... God gave us hormones and people get horny. People get horny. It's okay. And these pastors have 10 kids talking about the Jezebel. You got horny, brother. Horny. It's okay. It's, a, it's how God made us. We have hormones. 
Now, do I think that there is some spirit out there or something that can make you more horny than God made you to be? Absolutely. Do I think a lot of people struggle with corn addiction? Absolutely. But we naturally are supposed to get horny, right? We're supposed to have sexual ooh, to us. Like, that's just our body. If not, we wouldn't have kids. The Bible says multiply, right? Like, calm down. And here's the crazy cherry on top. Jezebel died. She ain't here. Like, been dead. Extra dead. Like, she got thrown out a window, trampled on by horses, and then eaten by dogs. Like, there ain't even bones left. That's, that's what the Bible says. Why y'all think this chick is just skedaddling on the earth right now, causing a whole bunch of ruckus? I don't know. Not to mention, the Bible never mentions a spirit of Jezebel. Like, at all. This is not mentioned, not once. But even at that, when the Bible does mention Jezebel, she's not like the spirit of lust or the embodiment of lust. She's, she did a whole bunch. She worshipped foreign idols and reintroduced them to Israel. She killed God's prophets. She killed a dude just to steal his stuff from him. She tried to kill Elijah, and she would threaten anyone who wasn't trying to worship Baal, Baal, however you say his stupid name. Was she an adulterous woman? Absolutely. Was that like her whole being? She's just the spirit of lust? No, and the Bible never mentions Jezebel's spirit. So what crevice y'all pulled that out of? Yo no sé, pero you need to get it together because we're not going to be lying on the Bible, okay? Now, the Bible does mention Jezebel in Revelation. Because Jesus Christ rebukes the church of Thyretia. Thyretia, thyroid, I don't know. I don't know how you say it. It's this word. And pretty much he's like, y'all allow Jezebel to pretend she's a prophet and call herself a prophet, but she out here trying to seduce people and get them to worship false idols. She's using lust to get people to do the wrong thing. Now, given the fact that she's dead, extra dead, been dead, and the Bible makes no mention of a Jezebel spirit, and also the whole like spirits just chilling on earth of people who are alive isn't a thing. Honey, that's a ghost and ghost ain't biblical. The only ghost that there is is the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. But and however, speaking, given the prefix of all that we already know, this is not the spirit of Jezebel. He's saying you acting like a Jezebel. He's rebuking a church in that statement. So he's saying this church, you acting like that girl who been dead. And she got murdered for a reason. So don't be doing that. That's what the verse is talking about. It's not saying she like rose from the ashes to commit more evil. Like that's not what it's saying. With all that said, like the other pastor said, I forgot his name. He was like, Mark should have come to me privately. Matthew 18. That's what he mentioned. Absolutely. He should have came to him privately. But also you was wrong. And if you're going to sin in public, you better repent in public. I'm just saying. Anyways, um, that's my take on the whole thing. Also, Jezebel been dead. Stop saying Jezebel spirit. She died. She's gone. It doesn't exist. It's just, 